Hello everyone, Trix here and welcome back to Pokemon Stadium. To be precise, welcome back to Gym Leader's Castle in Pokemon Stadium. In the last episode we finished off Ultra Ball and therefore making sure that all of the lower difficulties there are taken care of. The next time we will continue there, only the highest difficulty cups are going to be present, including the ones we haven't seen at all yet, <laughs> because of only having one difficulty. But in the meantime, we are going to clear Gym Leader's Castle, the mode where all of the Gym Leaders from Pokemon Red and Blue are present again in uh, so, some sort of rematch, you might say, <laughs> but here in Pokemon Stadium. The first two we took care of. Let's continue with the rest of the Pewter Gym, starting with trainer number three, the male junior trainer. I see plenty of ground types, so the no-brainer is Polly. We haven't seen him yet at all, so let's put him in for the first time. I'll also try to show off Kim. We have not seen him as well. And let's put in Agon. Let's go in. Okay, this team obviously also required a water type. And my choice fell for Polly in this team. It's a very good water type, which is also a fighting type. So I actually have a fighting type move this time around, as you can see. <laughs> in fact, let's show that off immediately, because Pidgey is, of course, also a normal type. I can finally use super effective moves against normal types. <laughs> Unless I miss. <laughs> okay, great start. <laughs> Don't you critical me with Gust? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Let's just try that again. Okay, there we go. Oh, he lived, so I'm gonna get recoil damage. Downside of submission, the moment your opponent does not go out, you get recoil damage. That can be quite extensive with a move like that, so... Okay, let's finish you off. Doesn't really matter what I use. That low HP, everything should work. Is it down and out? The next Pokemon is being prepped. Okay, everything else you have is mostly ground types, so. Oh, here is one indeed. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Well, we know how uh, you guys don't like water, so. What's that? And the weak spot. Let's make sure Polly stays alive in this first battle. <laughs> How's that? Okay, Only 93 sure. HP, come on. <laughs> Why? Take it down with one hit. And everything uh, would have taken you out There's in one hit. <laughs> okay, next ground type, please. Duck Trio. Oh, it's Duck Trio. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one side. He's also faster. Ah, oh, it's learning submission. How nice. You're not going to be able to use it, but still. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And there goes the battle! Wasn't able to use Kim yet, unfortunately. His uh, types didn't really uh, ask for that, but uh, we'll see him later, hopefully. Okay, and then the real battle begins. The gym leader. Of course, making use of the same types that we know from the original Pokemon games. In his case, a lot of ground types. So without even looking, Polly... <laughs> Let's use Eli against the fossil Pokemon. And let's give using Kim another chance. <laughs> the next battle is against Pewter Gym leader, Brock. How will the challenger battle Brock, Brock Hard's team? Okay, Onyx. Great way to start. Surf's up, dude. <laughs> they go into battle oh, he's faster. Here's the first move. A minor hit. Okay, I'm going to be stuck in in this for a while. He knows how to take care of a water type. Let's go to somebody else then. Here's a Pokemon trick. Oh, it's Need of Kim. There he is. <laughs> how will this swap? Oh, it's been so long since you've been in the A team. 
I have something that works against you, I see. Blizzard. Let's take this rocky snake down. No, it is! Blizzard! Perfect day! Down! That shit takes fun! You thought you were smart with your bind. <laughs> what will the next Pokemon be? Okay, great way to christen Kim back in the team. Oh, it's Kabuto! Kabuto. How will the type difference affect that? Well, since I'm a ground type, let's uh, bring you out of the line of fire. <laughs> the Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Or line of water in this case. <laughs> oh, it's Electabuzz! I knew one of the fossils was going to be selected in your team. That's the reason why I selected Eli myself. Oh, the attack missed! Will Thunderbolt. this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Bye. <laughs> oh, <there's a> <laughs> Predictable. <laughs> oh, it's Cubone. Okay, Cubone is your last one. Not going to do anything. <laughs> what that? Completely immune against that. The target. How will the swap Pokemon fight? And there's nothing else I can use. So, Eli, you're out again. Combatants face each other. The trainers changing Pokemon. Okay, what are you going to use? Oh, ah, body slam is pretty easy. What's this? Good okay, luckily I didn't get paralyzed. It's always um, risk, of course, but with body slam paralysis. Outcome. One of the biggest downsides of that move. Right, that's there. Super okay, and that's two. Ah, it's a one -hit wonder. Only Kabuto left. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. We're down to the last Pokemon. Okay, you're part rock the type, so Pokemon submission should work against you. One. The battle has become one sided. Submission going down. Round zero. And there we go. Down! That didn't take much! That's it! Stage clear! Okay, even the second time, Brock was no match for me. <laughs> Give me that boulder badge. <laughs> now in this game you don't receive any badges from beating the gym leaders. It's only in order to get access to the next one. The first tower has been cleared. These are not official gym battles. As you can see, received the key from Brock and opened Misty's tower. And that is how the progression works here. You beat one gym, gym tower, and we move on to the next. Fisher, junior trainer, female, a swimmer, and of course, gym leader herself, Misty. Known from the water type Pokemon. Okay, um, when it comes to my team selection, it's going to be the same one, of course. This is the team that I've selected to clear off this moat in order to get them in the Victory Palace. Because yes, even this moat gives you Victory Palace statues the moment you clear it, so... Let's make sure these guys actually earn those spots. <laughs> Let's begin with the Fisherman. We've beaten plenty of these guys in Pokemon Red, especially, in, especially near the sea routes. <laughs> and we know these guys love their water Pokemon, so I love Eli. <laughs> and the rest I don't care about. <laughs> I'm only going to use Eli. Here's the first opponent of this gym series. A decisive victory is expected. Because everything he has is water types. There's only one choice for me. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt again. <laughs> right, Thunderbolt! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Take it down on the word go! Okay, there goes the first war turtle in this, this game. <laughs> wild one from the word go. Very short performance. Okay, Sea King we've already seen in Stadium. There's nothing new about you. Let's get rid of you very quickly. <laughs> How's that? No, this Pokemon looks and that's two. <laughs> wow, take it down with one hit. There's a difference in the number of reserve Okay, Pokemon. your third one's also going to be Water-type no matter what, because you only had those. 
Really? Magikarp of all things? <laughs> okay, I feel sorry for this guy. This is pathetic, so let's use something else. <laughs> Psychic. And still going out to one hit. <laughs> Gone! It's a one hit wonder! And there goes the battle! Magikarp should not be a thing. But unfortunately, he is. Okay, that was a joke. It was, it was only the first battle after all. As you may expect, even these battles get progressively harder the further we get. Even in the towers themselves. So this one should already be more formidable. And it definitely is. This one's a little bit more all over the place. This one needs some more thinking. Let's start with Kim. Uh, let's still put an Eli. There's no all water types this time around, but there's still Sea King and Pidgey. And Polly for the Diglett. How will the gym's second opponent conduct battle? We'll need a strong effort to win. Okay, he starts off with the Sea King. That's going to hurt me a lot the moment he gets a chance to attack. Let's see what I can do. I could try Horn Drill, but that's way too unreliable, so... Yeah, I'm out of here. Kim is a bad option ah. against the Sea King. <laughs> oh, and a rough Pokemon chain. Oh, it's Electabuzz! You are a way better idea, my friend. Okay, luckily Thunderbolt has a very high accuracy, so missing should not happen, even though my accuracy got lowered. Thank you. And it's not even out in one hit. <laughs> okay, my speed is also down. I could use Quick Attack, because my speed is down. But, uh, Make sure I'm still the fastest one. There, quick attack. That's a good hit. Oh, is it down and out? What will the next Pokemon be? Okay, your second one is Diglett. Oh, it's Diglett. How will the type difference affect that? Okay, let's get Eli out of here quickly because this they is going to hurt. As small as it may be. Here's a Pokemon chain. I can't use a Thunderbolt on it. It's a ground type. Oh, it's Polyrath. No, it's not Polyrath. It's Polly. <laughs> oh, this again. Any flashbacks from the Prime Cup already? What's that? Yeah, it's working. Right, that's sir. Yeah, but Surf never misses. Wow, that's an effective hit. Even with lowered now, accuracy, it always run. connects. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Last up is. Oh, it's Pidgey. Okay, let's not talk about the name Pit Pit Pit. <laughs> the remaining Pokemon count is three to one. It's a horrible the idea for a name. Although <laughs> well, I'm. That big of a star with names, but still. <laughs> I can beat Pit 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 any day <laughs> when it comes to the name giving. <laughs> What's this? Accuracy took a hit. What a furious battle! Okay, I'm starting to see a pattern in your moves. It's nothing but accuracy lowering moves that you use. Didn't help you one bit. <laughs> oh, he did nothing but lower my accuracy the whole time. And there goes the battle. Yet I can't remember missing a single attack during this battle. So, <laughs> so uh, junior trainer female, you should start working on your strategy a little bit because the one you're using right now isn't really working. <laughs> Let's move on to the swimmer. Let's see if uh, this guy has a better way to. Strategize. Okay, once again, a lot of water types. Eli, it is. 
Abraham for the Mankey. And... I don't care. Molly. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Okay, Armor Knight. Great, because I can use a Thunder Move against you to make quick work out of you. Ah! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Taken down on the word go! This is a wild one from the word go. Okay, let's not hope for one of the normal types. Oh, it's me. Yeah, I was kind of fearing that. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Didn't put in Polly. Didn't quite realize that. Didn't really take those normal types in account, so. Attack. Kind of forgot that Polly has a fighting type move and therefore is the best bet against normal types. <laughs> but this should still What's also that? work. Three hits. A decent hit. What a furious battle! Okay, let's try using Thunderbolt against you. Let's see what that does. Right. Thunderbolt. Major damage. Okay, that's a better idea oh. than Psychic. <laughs> Is it down and out? There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Okay, the next one, Clefairy. No. Oh, it's Goldeen. The remaining In that case, Pokemon you have a problem. <laughs> the battle has become one-sided. How's that? Super effective. There we go. Down! That didn't take much! The lackey's taken care of. And there goes the battle! Okay, there wasn't a whole lot of variety in these uh, spare trainers when it comes to just uh, this gym battle. The Cerulean gym is of course normally a water type gym, but even the spare trainers were most of all water trainers. Misty is not going to be a difference. The gym leader always sticks true to the gym's type, so it's nothing but water types for her. Eli without a question. <laughs> And the rest of my team should not matter a whole lot, so let's just put in a ra random couple of people. Abraham, Egon, because why not? <laughs> this is it! The battle against Misty, the Cerulean gym leader, and the maiden of water Pokemon! Let's see what the challenger has in store for her! Okay, Eli, you should be able to do this all by yourself. That's one. Taken down on the word go! This is a wild one from the word go! Oh, it's dark! Okay, that's a lot more formidable. How will the type difference affect that? One of the better water types in this game. And it's faster than Eli. <laughs> now especially. Okay, my only weapon against these guys, and it's paralyzed. The intense battle continues! You're making this interesting, it seems. What now? Down. Okay, now I'm double slowed down. And also still paralyzed. Okay, you're going to get annoying, it seems. <laughs> What's that? Down. I'm already slow enough, stop lowering my speed. <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> wow, take it down with one Took a while before I was able to get an attack in, but uh, a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. The moment I did, you were down in one hit. <laughs> oh, it's okay, the other starfish. The remaining Pokemon count is three Okay, I'm still one. very slow, so you're the going to go first. <laughs> the special chat is down. The special's also down now. <laughs> Okay, he lived. Okay, I must use quick attack now. I need to go first no matter what. There we go. Because otherwise Eli would have fallen no matter what. <laughs> 
Oké, okay, he was struggling in the end, especially with Starmie. But Eli indeed was able to do this all by himself. Like I expected. Misty definitely put up a good fight. She almost took out my electric type. But not quite. And the second gym has been cleared. Okay, already making pretty good progress. Only the second episode, or one and a half officially. <laughs> and we've already reached the third tower. Lieutenant Surge, the Vermilion gym leader. The electric type gym is up next. But uh, we are at 20 minutes, so this is a perfect spot to call this an episode. Next time we'll um, continue with the Vermilion gym tower and uh, clear that one off. And perhaps also get started on the fourth tower. See you folks next time when we continue. Treaks out.